Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone's having a great Friday. Unfortunately for me, someone uh, cracked up into me, broadsided me, crushed my uh, passenger side door by the trunk, the rear uh, quarter panel and stuff like that. So my car is out of commission for a long time. Um, unfortunately, it hap shit happens on Fridays and you got to wait two days for Monday to roll around until the ball gets going. So... I'm waiting, I'm hoping it's not going to be totaled and stuff like that, which I don't think it is. My friends don't think it is, but it'd be really stupid and silly that if the um, insurance company turns around and says, yep, it's totaled, because I just got the car last August. Thank God I didn't put a bunch of money into it, like my uh, Speed 3, since I'm into modifying cars and stuff. But um, other than that, I'm sore, but I'm still alive. Um... I'm going to show you today uh, something cool. It's called One Menu. It's for the PlayStation Vita, of course. Um, I'm going to be downloading the newest version, which is 3.16. And um, the fixes are fixed bug to refresh content for several PSM games. Add unpack resources from eboot.pbp slash ISO. Um, this is a neat little... Uh, I guess you could call add-on, I guess you could say. It's a, it's going to make the PlayStation Vita um, menu a lot better. It's a user interface. So if you hate the bubbles, like mo I think most people do hate the PlayStation bubbles, and it's a shame that PlayStation never um, implemented something where you could change the bubbles to like maybe squares or maybe like just cover art and stuff like that. Because I've seen some great um, XBMs out there, especially for the Xbox 360 scene, some of the uh, menus, dashboard menus, some of them are really neat, and it just sucks that uh, the PlayStation Vita got shafted, and we get to chill with bubbles, which I'm not really a fan of, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download it, install it, and I'll test it out for you guys, and it's also like a file manager too, like... Uh, like uh, Vita Show, it's something along those lines like that, but you can't connect to an FTP, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can make themes for it. I'll show you how to download themes, how to go about deleting the themes that you don't want anymore. It took me a little while. I had to do some research on that. But um, other than that, um, might as well, let's get into it. All right, from here, you want to load up your web browser. I'm going to download the newest version and download the VPK. And uh, as you can tell in the left-hand corner, it's being downloaded right now. Once that um, download is finished and complete, um, pop on over to your PlayStation Vita. You want to load up Vita Shell. Just hit the X or tap it with your finger. Now from here, you want to hit the Select button, which opens up the FTP server. And it will spit out um, the numbers for you. To be used on either like an FTP client or what I've been using is actually the file explorer. Just type it in the FTP there. Or you can actually use your internet browser. Or you could use Firefox or Chrome if you want to do that. But um, I really enjoy the fire, uh, the fire, yeah, the file explorer. It's a lot easier because you can drag and drop things a lot quicker. So from here, I'm going to open up two file explorers. I'm going to split them off into separate areas. Um, you can pick one, whatever side for the FTP. It's up to you. Since it's uh, already in there, since I've been using it, it shows up, which is great. I'm at my downloads folders right now. I'm going to drag over that VPK to the UXO slash VPK folder. Actually, tell right there. Takes a few seconds. Let's say 10, I guess, give or take. I don't know. Eight. Eight and third. Um, after that is complete, you can just exit out of the windows. You don't need the PC anymore. Now go back to your Vita. And you'll still, still see the message pop up here with the uh, FTP numbers and stuff like that. And you want to cancel that. Or back out of it, I should say. Go down to your UXO. Scroll all the way down to where you find the VPK folder. Now right from here, you'll find the one menu, Vita.VPK. 
VP I should say. Um, just hit yes, um, accept it, let it install. Takes about 20 seconds. It's not that big of a file, which is nice. And uh, from here, I just actually just decided to reboot just for, you know, shits and giggles to be on the safe side. So I rebooted. I cut that out. This is the one menu for PlayStation Vita. Now, this is the user interface that is actually awesome. Unfortunately, I don't have any games on it besides the Duke Nukem. But it splits up the categories of games and homebrew. So this is the homebrew part. Um, that's the games part. You could tell by the uh, by the banner on the right hand side. And you could either um, edit the files right here. It tells you how much memory you have and different partitions. It's um, quite neat actually. Um, there's actually a Nintendo Switch user interface interface that's out there. That looks kind of rad, too. But you could delete games. You can install games from here. It's just... Uh, I think this is kind of a rad little application. Because um, it sure beats the freaking bubbles. I don't think anybody likes the bubbles, like I said earlier. Um, but that's just me. It's a shame that PlayStation never uh, managed to let us change that and stuff like that. So I'm just going through the different settings right now. It's nice you could have the um, tab that has the X on it so you can say start like the PlayStation 4. Now this is where you want to download themes. There's not really too many themes around. Um, I'll link everything down below. There'll be a link to how to make themes. So if anybody makes a theme that'd be rad. I'd love to try it out. And it doesn't take that long to download which is awesome. So that's my PlayStation 4, I think Slim, it says. Or no, or Skin. It's blurry for me, I apologize. So that looks cool. I will tell you later on in the video, I start pushing those buttons on the top, the trophy and the settings and the power. They don't do jack. So just forewarn you, you know. And this is the file manager. Just hit the uh, left bumper and right bumper to switch between UXO and the other partitions. So that's the PlayStation 4 skin. That's kind of weird, PlayStation 4 skin. All right, a little childish, I know, to apologize. So this is legendary, or legacy. It's all right, it's, it's not that great. You need somebody with really great artwork to make a badass skin, a theme, I should say. And you could also change the style. Show pick one is a, it's a bubble. So when you have something highlighted, it blows up to the background of the image like that. So it's kind of neat. If you want that, you can turn that off and on if you want. I have mine off right now. But it's not bad. It's all right, but I think this is a neat little user interface. Um, would would be rad to actually boot up the PlayStation Vita with this user user interface instead of uh, booting up with the uh, bubbles showing. So I'll show you some more um, downloadable themes. This one's kind of cool. This is kind of this makes me want to actually make myself a theme out of what I don't know, but maybe I'll try a PS4 one or something since I have the instructions that I'll link down below. I'm just not very good at Photoshop anymore. It's been years since I've used it. But what I'm doing is just loading the theme, going back to the settings, and trying out different um, settings for that theme. This one's a little neat. I like this one. I like stuff that's simple. 
like I said earlier, the th Xbox 360 had the greatest, raddest um, media center bars there there was. I think Cody would, if anybody knows what Cody is, I think Cody would be rather neat on the PlayStation Vita if somebody took the time to code it. Because I do like Cody. Cody was Cody's great. I actually bought an Amazon Fire Stick off eBay that was f fully hacked with Cody on it. It's nice you get free movies, but kind of crappy quality, actually. So this is this was a pleasant theme. It's simple. It's blue. Blue looks great, and it's easy on the eyes. For me, it is. But um, I just found out you could turn the music on for a custom themes manager and turn it off if you want. So I'll load back up the uh, one menu. And I'll show you some few other things before this video ends. I do like the PlayStation 4 skin. That sounds freaking terrible. Ah. Legacy, like I said, nah, it's all right. I don't know what's with a lot of anime pictures on the PlayStation Vita. It seems like people love anime. I never got into it. I've had friends that are big-time fans of it. I remember delivering for FedEx Ground, and some guy was all about uh, hentai. And it took me a very long time to understand what that was. Right here, you could see me uh, tapping the icon, thinking they're going to open up and stuff like that. Hey, I had no idea. But at any rate... Um, from here, I'm going to show you how to delete the themes that you've downloaded. Uh, I'm just showing you the themes I have installed. Um, took me a little while to figure this out, but I got it. From um, the main menu, you want to hit select on the UXO, go down to data, then go down to one menu, folder, then themes. You can highlight the folders by the square, hit the triangle, and then it'll pop up a message, hit delete. Or you could do one folder at a time. Totally up to you guys. And there you go. The two folders of the themes are gone. That's it. Simple as that. Uh, hope everyone else is doing well. Please stay safe. Thank you for viewing. Um, thanks for sticking around. Um, have yourself a great weekend. And hopefully I'll catch you around.